Hey everyone, it's Carissa Wiley here for Pink Fresh Studio. Thanks for joining me today. Today I am going to show you how to use the brand new A2 slider dies from Pink Fresh Studio. This creates a really fun interactive card and I'm gonna be combining it with some of the other products just released in the brand new March 2023 release, including the Artistic Magnolias and the Artistic Dahlias product suite. So I'm gonna be using the Artistic Magnolias washi tape along with the dies and the sentiments from the Artistic Dahlias. We're gonna create a birthday card with a slider surprise that is so much fun. And we're also going to be using these rounded and braided rectangles as an accent on our card. So let's get started. And I'm going to start off with the Artistic Dahlias washi tape. And I'm just gonna trim off a section of this washi tape. I'm gonna place it onto my white cardstock first. Sometimes I trim it down first. Sometimes I place it on the cardstock first. It all just depends. And this goes to show you that I don't always do it perfect the first time, but I'm able to kind of pull it up and reposition it as I need, and then I can trim it down. Now, I love these washi tapes from Pink Fresh Studio because they make embellishing a card so easy. If you are a person who is not talented in the coloring department or watercoloring department, and that would be me, raise your hand if you are like me. <laughs> these make for some great, beautiful, quick and easy embellishments, and there are so many of these on a roll. Now I'm going to use the coordinating one piece die to die cut the elements of this Artistic Magnolias washi tape. And if your die does not fit on the platform, you can just tape it in place, run it through your die cut machine, and then move the bottom portion up, run it through your die cut machine again, and that will give you a cut on all of these images included in the washi. Now I'm also going to use the smallest of these rounded and braided rectangles to die cut this bright kind of limey green. This is technically called citrine cardstock. I thought that pink and bright green together would be a gorgeous combination and kind of pull in some of the greens from the washi tape in a new way. So I've run that through my die cut machine and there are a bunch of little areas that I will poke out from this shape. Using my Pink Fresh, I don't know what this is called, maybe an embellishment tool. I'm not sure what it's called yet, but it's coming soon. <laughs> I call it a pokey tool. Um, and once I have that all done, I am going to take the dies from the A2 slider set, and I'm going to die cut both of these pieces here from some heavyweight white cardstock. Now, I like to use a heavyweight cardstock for this portion because these are moving pieces on my card. And so I'm using a 110 pound white cardstock for these pieces. Now you have your front piece and your slider piece. And that slider piece is the piece with the little tab and the hole at the top. Now this front portion of the slider, I'm also going to die cut from some peony cardstock. So this is a really beautiful pink cardstock because I wanted to add some color to the front of this. Now I could have made the entire front portion from this peony cardstock, but I decided I just wanted the frame area to be this pink color. So I'm just trimming off along the top dashed line of this front a2 slider piece. This will make more sense in just a bit. And I'm basically creating a frame from this die cut. Now this is a completely optional set. You could stamp this die cut instead. You could add color in various ways, but I've decided to just add a second die cut around the frame of this. So now I'm using some liquid adhesive and I'm just placing it on the outer portion of this slider front. I'm gonna call it the slider front because I don't know the technical name for it, but this is the piece that cuts with kind of a tab and all of these dashed lines. Now, once I have that adhered, I'm going to start folding on the dashed lines that this die creates. The top line I'm going to fold back towards me, which creates a valley fold. The middle tab or the middle line I'm going to fold up to create a mountain fold. And the final tab on the bottom, I'm going to fold up towards me again to create a valley fold. Now I'm gonna show you how this looks in just a second. So it's valley, mountain, valley. And this will make more sense in just a minute when you put this together. This is really one of those 
interactive cards that's simple to put together, doesn't take a lot of time. The dies do most of the work for you. You just gotta make sure you have your folds going in the right direction. Now, once I have my slider front folded, I'm going to flip it over and on this very bottom tab, I'm going to place some adhesive on the back side. I'm gonna use some strong double-sided tape for this. You could use some liquid glue, but it's gonna take some time for it to set up. But you do wanna use something that's strong because this is what's going to attach your actual moving slider piece to the slider front. So you can see I've gone ahead and removed the backer from that double-sided adhesive. I'm positioning my slider piece kind of centered behind that slider front and then pressing that down and that gives me my slider function. Now this is great because I like to put like some cash or a gift card on that slider piece as kind of a surprise when the recipient pulls it out. Now around this edge, I am going to place some foam adhesive. Now you can use those thin foam adhesive strips or if you have these panels of foam adhesive that you make yourself, Leah has shared this in the past, you can actually take this over to your trimmer and just trim it at 1 8 inch strips. And then you can use your scissors to cut along those lines. So the trimmer doesn't actually cut all the way through it, but you can just slide your scissors into that groove that it creates and kind of slide them along that groove. You don't actually even have to cut. You can just slide them through that groove and it creates your own DIY thin foam strips. Now the key to this is that you need some thin foam strips so that you don't impede the movement of your slider piece. So I'm just placing this around the very outer edge, making sure that my adhesive is not touching the slider piece that's attached to the slider front. So you can see I'm just trimming them down and putting them around the very outside edge. Now you don't technically have to use foam adhesive for this, but I like a little dimension. I think it makes it um, a little easier to operate. Now I am grabbing one of the sentiments from the Artistic Dahlia's stamp set, and I'm going to stamp it in some black ink onto some white cardstock. Because I'm using these bright, bold cardstock colors, I decided a kind of very contrasty black sentiment would be perfect for this card. So I'm just inking it up in the Pink Fresh Studio hybrid ink, stamping it onto some white cardstock, and then I'm going to use the coordinating die to die cut this out. I love that Pink Fresh Studio has started including coordinating dies in their sets. It just gives creating a few more options, and I think that's so fun. Now, while I was die cutting, I went ahead and die cut this sentiment piece from a couple layers of plain white cardstock as well. I'm gonna stack these up to give this sentiment a little dimension on my card front. And most of the embellishing that I'm doing on this card front is actually going to be on that rounded rectangle braided piece that I die cut from the green earlier. I'm gonna keep a lot of my embellishing to that area. So I'm going to go ahead and stack those up and then I'm gonna start adding some of these die cut washi tape pieces to this rounded braided rectangle. I'm just adding some in the lower left hand corner and the upper right hand corner. And then I'm also going to add my sentiment to this as well. Now this sentiment says, may all your wishes come true and I'm going to combine it with a couple other sentiments from some various Pink Fresh Studio sets to make a birthday card. And the first one that I've done is this, I hope your day sparkles. And this is from the Happy Birthday Sentiment stamp set from Pink Fresh Studio. I'll have that linked in the description below. I have stamped that onto a strip of this citrine cardstock and I've cut the ends into a little banner end. Now to give this citrine rounded rectangle braided piece, that's a lot of words. <laughs> a little bit of support. I went ahead and die cut it from some white cardstock as well and just glued that on there just for a little support since it's going to be kind of popping up on my finished card. And on my card base, I took my A2 slider front die and I just traced around the inner edge of that so I knew where I could add some embellishments. Now these embellishments will be visible once the slider slides up. So I've stamped a sentiment that says birthday wishes and die cut that. And then I've added a couple more of those washi tape pieces. 
Now, when I add this piece to my A2 slider front, I want to make sure of a couple things. Number one, that it doesn't go beyond that bottom score line or fold line. And number two, that my adhesive does not go above that middle score line so that it's able to pop up. So I'm basically just adding a little foam adhesive at the bottom of this rounded braided rectangle so that everything is still operational. Now I'm also going to add the sentiment strip and I'm adding that on the very bottom tab of this A2 slider front. Now it can go over the sides. It just cannot extend above that bottom score line. So as long as I keep everything kind of below that bottom score line for that sentiment strip, I'm good to go. Now that I have my slider front decorated, I'm going to go ahead and remove the backer from the foam adhesive and place that onto my card base. The card base, I added those different embellishments to. And you can see I've added some twine to the top of my slider piece as well. So when I pull that up, all of that stuff that's on my card base is then revealed. Now I decided I wanted a few more things on this braided rectangle that kind of pops up. So I'm just adding a little bit of liquid glue to the back and adding a couple more of these washi tape die cut pieces. And you can see I've added a gift card on the slider portion as well. So there's a little surprise when the recipient opens it. Now, I absolutely loved making this A2 slider card. It was one of the easiest interactive cards that I've made. And you can kind of experiment with some dummy pieces until you get this all figured out, but I think you'll find this interactive card really easy to put together. Just keep in mind that you don't wanna cross any of those score or fold lines with your adhesive when you're putting this together and you should be good to go. Now, as always, I will have links to the featured products used in this project in the description at YouTube. So if you're looking for something in particular, be sure you check there. As always, thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I hope you enjoyed this project and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications here on this YouTube channel so you don't miss any of the paper crafting and card making video tutorials shared here. Thanks again for stopping by and until next time. I hope you have a fabulous day.